All right, so no hot water. That's the bottom line. I have a A.O. Smith 40 gallon tank. Um, thermocoupling unit, looks like it went south, or the fusible link that's in between on this. I think it's a proprietary part, because I'm told by every plumber I've spoken with that a universal thermocoupling unit will not properly work. I don't know how true that is. I'm not a plumber. But the long and short of it is, no one has the part in stock, just that one piece. So I had to get this. Uh, pilot assembly, part number 9003542005. And let me just open this up so you can see what's in there without making a mess here. But basically it's a rebuild kit. It's this. It's the entire, it's the Pezzo unit. It's the gas line, it's the thermocoupling unit, you've got the, f the fusible link, it's everything. And literally, it's even got the grommet here. So you would just fish this through the existing hole on the housing, button it all up, and in theory, everything should just work. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, I think the first thing I'm gonna need, to, I started working on it a little bit, I pushed everything out here, the grommet just pops out from the hole down here. And then it looks like this bracket's held on by a screw right here. So I'm gonna grab a Phillips head and get working. Phillips right here. Nothing interesting to see, so I know I'm blocking the lens, but I'm just literally removing a Phillips head screw. That was lined up like that. So I'm just gonna take this whole thing out. new one will just line up the same way. I was warned by the plumbing store that I got this from to be mindful of that fusible link. Um, he even alluded to the fact that my thermal coupling unit might actually have been good and it could have actually just been that fusible link that failed. Um, but regardless, it's not something, according to anyone I've spoken with, that can be repaired or replaced. I don't know how true that is, but it is what it is. This unit cost me a little over $80 with tax, and I had to go to a, like a mom and pop plumbing place by my house. I'm sure I can go online and I could have ordered it also, but we like hot showers, so this had to be done today. All right, I'm just gonna, and I'm just gonna crank that down as much as I can without stripping it. That's in, and then there's another screw that goes through this bracket. There's the other screw, and this guy would just see. There's another bracket right here. Okay, and this is gonna just slip through. I'm just taking a regular flathead. I'm just gonna grind, crank that guy down. Thinking out loud, it might have been smarter of me to have done this before I put everything together, but I'm sure it's still manageable. Let me turn the camera. I'm gonna have to unravel this and manage to get this through the housing here, which doesn't seem so hard actually, good. grommet will, oh, we got the Pezzo unit, this Pezzo unit thing has to come through also. And I put the trigger on here so I didn't lose it, but that simply unhooks, how? There we go, it just unhooks. Okay, so I'll put this through. That grommet just kind of pops in here. There we go. One. Okay, cool. So we got this all together. The two grommets are poking through. This is all secure. Fusible link. It's still intact, which is important. 
Um, I'm going to put the igniter back on. That's just the orange cable. And this guy just plugs right into there. And then with the assembly out, we could test it by hitting the trigger. So, there we go. And there's a spark. So, we're going to button this up and see what happens now. So this is going to be a little tricky to film. But I got everything buttoned back up and what you see there is the flame. So what I'm going to do is turn this and fire up the valve. Let's see. Wonderful. We have fire. Which means I will have hot water soon. And that makes everyone in my house happy. So basically, let's turn the light on. This is all buttoned back up again. And this just kind of clips onto the top as it was before. And everything is here. I might just tighten all this up later on just so no one accidentally trips on it or whatever it is. But that's basically it. Um, everything's tightened down here. I'm just gonna tighten these last two guys up so they don't go anywhere but that's it Do that and we got that so hopefully going forward I just bought another couple of years out of my tank because you'd be surprised every person I talk to they want to sell you a tank I said I don't need a tank I said it's just my thermal coupling unit never wants to sell me a brand new tank and the tanks only seven years old so I couldn't justify that. Well, that's it. Like I said, I'm not a plumber, but now that I've done this, I'll gladly answer any questions that you might have. And uh, good luck.